little about Flo. <clears throat> Flo Hyman was born in Englewood, California on July 21st, 1954. Flo was playing in Japan when she collapsed in a match due to a disease she had called Marfan Syndrome on January 24th, 1986. Early Life Flo Hyman was the second of eight children. Flo loved to see her family every chance she got, but with her busy schedule with volleyball six to eight hours a day with her Sundays off, it was hard to get to see her family. The oldest sibling, Susanna, was the one who inspired Flo to play volleyball. When she was a freshman in high school, she got scared when going to tryouts and didn't try out, but then later was one of the best players on the team in later years. Leadership Leadership Flo Hyman led her teammates to multiple wins. Some of her other international achievements include playing in the World Championships in 1978 and 1982, the World Cup in 1977, and 1981. In 1980, she captained the silver medal winning team. When she was at the University of Houston, she led them to 120 wins in the top fives every single year. Following her college career, Hyman began an award-winning international playing career. And this is one of her famous quotes. Legacy She was one of the most famous volleyball players of all time not just here in the United States, but also worldwide. One of the commentators called her one of the strongest hitters at the net. Flo Hyman was the most accomplished student athlete in Houston history. She is not only remembered as one of the sport's most powerful player, but as a leader who worked to uphold the Civil Rights Restoration Act and the strengthening of Title IX legislation. In 1987, the Nationals girl and woman in sports day began to promote girls in women's sports it also a way to remember Flo and her equality for women in sports her charisma and devotion were focused on the team rather than herself as an individual Flo in her six foot five inch frame had it all speed strength and fitness there was no other volleyball player like her anywhere in the world at the time